All right, well, I can't find a drill bit big enough. I can't go out and buy one. And I don't really have any friends around here, so <laughs> I'm gonna try and plasma cut it. Hey guys, well, I got a package in the mail. I'm just taking a break from making the um, the cargo carrier. So, uh, let's see what this is. I have a feeling it's from a... Uh, yeah, hiya. <laughs> Jack, hiya. From a very loyal viewer. 
told him I needed something, and he might have just felt generous enough to get it for me, I hope. Whatever it is, it's big and heavy. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Alright. Regulator? I wonder what that could be for. Mommy, mommy! Shh, hey you know, buddy. Daddy's... And, oh my god, it's heavy. Holy shit. Ugh, that's a forge. Look at that thing. Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap. This is exactly what I needed. Wow. Look at that. Single burner. problem. Uh, I might have a big problem. Quiet, you know. Well, I was worried about that. The hole was too close to the edge here. So I'm gonna have to put a new hole in, which will weaken it. Make them weld some plates over the old holes, I don't know. But it looks good. Just put a piece of wood on it and I'm done. And clean up the welds and paint it. Damn, so close, but yet so far away. Alright, well, it worked. Now I just gotta go put it back in the hitch again, mark the holes again. I'm gonna come back out and plasma cut it. And hopefully this time it's right. Well, my fitment isn't as good as I had wanted. I've got a big old gap right here. And it's tight right here. So obviously it isn't square, but it's my first one, so what the hell. And I'm afraid to stand on it. <laughs> I think it'll be fine, but I suppose I should do that test, huh? Here it goes. A little sloppy, but feels okay. 
definitely will hold a deer. Yeah, I'm standing right here. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, the next one I build will be a lot better if I ever build another one. So I gotta grind the weld zone. Maybe still do some adjustments on the board yet. And um, I mean, that's just pounded in. And uh, probably drill some holes for tie downs and whatnot or weld on something. Damn it. Oh, there's a... All right guys, so I got this uh, all set up and um, I guess let's try it out. I'm gonna put this in there and see what happens. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that brick. Wow, that's cool. Well, thanks again, Chad, for helping me out with this. I was hoping someone would hear my plea for help. And just for you helping, you get the first knife out of this. Whenever that may be. <laughs> so hopefully um, by the middle of this week or so, I'm going to start working on, on knives now and um, finish up that cargo carrier and uh, I'll be done with that because I'm almost out of wire anyway for welding. So my main focus now will be making blades. And um, I've already got, where is it here? Uh, well, I've got this one. I started back at Mom's. I gotta finish. And um, I started this one recently so we gotta bevel that and grind it down and then um, heat treat and make a hand roll so I've got two blanks here that need to be finished so right there that's I'm already halfway there <coughs> plus there's a knife show coming up or a gun show coming up if I can make like 20 blades which is a, a stretch um, I might be able to make some money. I don't know, we'll see. So, alright, I'm going to call it a day. And um, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll finish, we'll finish the cargo carrier. So, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.